Sometimes added options on your products may cost more than the standard model of that product. Or you might sell versions of a product that come in metal or glass instead of wood or plastic. These options may weigh more than the standard model of your product. And when a customer selects an option on your product, you might want the image to change to depict that option on your product. All of these things can be done using product rules. They're really easy to set up, and to learn how, just follow this quick tutorial. Let's go to Products, and then click View. You'll want to click the title of the product you need to make rules for. Once inside the product, select the Options tab at the top. Click the Rules button on the left side of the Options page. Click Create a Rule. This brings up a pop-up window. If I've already created SKUs for each option combination, then I can use these SKUs to create rules. Or I can make rules by option down below. This can be very helpful if you wish to apply the same rule to one option, and not to one SKU at a time. I'll use this approach because it makes sense for my product. I'll open the size options by clicking the plus sign. I see the options on this product, two ounce, four ounce, and eight ounce. Now, I'll need to take into consideration what price I listed on this product. Was it for the two ounce size, the four ounce size, or the eight ounce size? In this case, my price of $6 was for the two ounce size. What I'd like to accomplish is that if someone selects the four ounce option, the price will raise to $10. To do that, I will check off the four ounce box. Now I go below and select adjust its price. A few options appear. I can decide to add, remove, or set a fixed price when the four ounce option is chosen. I could put a $10 fixed rate, but I'll choose to add $4 to my default price of $6. This will equal $10 for a four ounce jar of jam. Type four in the number field. I'll leave this last setting on price. You can choose to add percentage to the price for this option if it makes sense for your product. Click Save and Close, and let's do the same thing for my eight ounce option. Click Create a Rule, then click the plus sign next to Size again. This time, I'll select eight ounce. Now, tick off Adjust its price. If I want to charge $16 for my eight ounce jar, I can add $10 to my base price of $6. Or, let me show you how fixed price works just the same. I'll choose the fixed price option from the dropdown, and I'll type in $16. Click save and close, and let's check out my product on the storefront. There is a link right at the top of the product page after you save. This will lead you to the product on your storefront. So right now it shows $6. This is for the two ounce version of my product. Let's click the four ounce option. I see the price change to $10. If I click the 8 ounce option, I see my price go up to $16. Perfect. But what if you want your image to change when an option is chosen? What if a product comes in different colors? It's very helpful to your customers to show the product in the selected color. This will help boost conversions on that product. This is known as an image change rule and is done in the same place. Let's go into a product where you want to change the image based on an option. I'll choose this t-shirt. Go to Options and then select the Rules tab. I will create a rule and open up the color option by clicking the plus sign. The main product image I uploaded when I created this product is the navy blue shirt. So I need the image to change if a customer chooses Big Commerce Blue. I will select that color and then move below and select Show a different image. I will have to upload the file from my computer. Once that is complete, click Save and Close. I will do it for the gray version of my t-shirt as well. Then the image will change whenever a customer selects the blue or the gray option. Let's check it out on our storefront. What many store owners soon realize is they need the same rule or rules applied to an entire product line. This is best done through option set rules. For example, let's say my extra large shirts all cost more from the manufacturer, and I wanna pass that cost onto my customers. If you've applied the same option set to 50 different t-shirts, you can create one option set rule 
instead of creating 50 separate product rules. Just remember the products must have the same options set. Watch how easy it is to create. Let's go to products and then product options. Click on the option sets tab to the right of the options tab. Find the option set that you want to create a global rule for. I will select my t-shirt set BC t-shirt small through extra large. On the right, I click the action wheel and select edit rules. Click the create a rule link on the top left. This should bring up a pop-up window. I want to make any extra large shirts cost $2 more than the original price. To do this, I will click the plus sign next to the size option and check off the extra large box. Then below, I select adjust its price. Just like the product rule settings, I will select add from the drop down menu and then type in two in the number field. So this means if extra large is selected, $2 will be added to the base price of any product that this option set has been applied to. Let me test this out on my storefront. I'll click extra large and I should see my price go up $2. Success, you've just created an option set rule. Something to keep in mind, your option set rules can operate alongside product rules, so be careful when applying both to the same product.